which I can't even tell you how much I love scones, but savoury ones, in fact, are some of my favourite. I think I might even prefer them. So we've got some pumpkin here. Now, look at that. How stunning is it? So simple. Sometimes we don't need to mess, we don't need to cut. Put it on a lovely bit of uh, Glad Bake and then just get that in the oven. So a nice hot oven, 230 degrees, and I put that in for about 30 to 40 minutes. So you can go do some washing, smiling or whatever. It's almost the lazy way of doing it because you don't have to cut anything at all. You just bung it all in the oven. Scone is the lazy baker. So that's me. I am the lazy baker. I try hard and everything else apart from baking because I'm not great at it. So any lazy baking for me is great. Now, I want you to just peel that off and just see how easily that happens. That's right. So you can use the back of a spoon or something like that. Get it all off and I want one cup of that lovely mashed pumpkin. Okay. You're going to mash all that up. Now I said this is baking at its most simple, which is what I need as well. So I'm going to add just wet ingredients in one bowl, dry in the other. Keep it really, really simple. Yeah, that's now, about a cup there? Yeah, about a cup there. So you want to mash that up yep. with a fork. Got two and a half cups of self-raising flour. That's what gives the scone its lift. I have a little uh, method as well, because I say baking is quite the art form. And it really is, make sure that you add some baking powder as well there. This is really easy, Rosie. Just with a really simple way of doing it, with a, the whole pumpkin in well, there. Well, you're only a quarter way through, yeah, aren't you? Exactly. So we're going to add to that a half a cup of milk, so nice whole milk. I do think using real cow's milk is a wonderful thing uh, in uh, scones as well, especially in baking, actually, to be honest. So half a cup of whole milk there. It's a lot easier to get hold of than chicken's milk, I can tell you that. It really is. <laughs> so I've got some room temperature butter just there. You rarely make me giggle anymore. I've got immune to it, but that one got me there. Some room temperature butter. Straight in there? Yeah, you want that. You want that for the richness of the scone there too. And a bit of maple syrup. Maple and pumpkin together. Fantastic. So, yeah, one... Oh, yeah, I knew we were going to do two tablespoons. That's fine. That's almost an American type of scone. It is a bit of an yes. American thing. Yep. Now, I've got one egg here too. That's your binder. So, in we go there. So, if you can just mash that one together, use a spoon, use a fork. Now, I've got some salt here. Nice, generous amount of Murray River salt flakes just there. And I'm just going to grab my spoon, mix that around. Now, this is a bit of a cheesy scone too. This will weigh it down a bit, so it won't get as much of a lift, but I tell you, it's worth it if you add some uh, Parmesan. So I'm going to put about one cup. I'm going to save a little bit for the top because a bit of a cheesy top is a wonderful thing. I live for exactly. it. Exactly. I'm thinking we're both going to mix these around and magically the scones will appear. Is that what's going to happen? No, that's not what's going to happen. We, of course, need to add the dry to the wet ingredients there. So okay. in we go with that. That's the one wonderful stuff. Now, there is lots of techniques, especially in Cornwall. Though you'll get told off for doing a lot of different things in a lot of different ways. There is no right or wrong, really, as long as it tastes nice. You can use a knife just to cut first before you then get your hands involved, but a nice wooden spoon is a very simple way of doing it. We don't want to work it too much there. We're going to get our hands involved now. If you put a bit of flour on the deck... Dust the board so here. So nice, clean hands, and we want nice, thick... Uh, scones, I think, there. We'll get it all on there. Now, this, because pumpkin might have different moisture in there, uh, you really sort of need to have a feel of it. And if it needs more flour, you'll just add it as you go. Yeah, so keep some water on hand, keep some extra flour on hand. But look at this colour. Isn't that wonderful? I think pumpkin is something that we definitely... It's very cheap, very affordable, but it's something that we definitely could use a lot more. Now, Rosie, looking at that scone dough, I reckon you could make a scone out of just about anything that grows in the ground. I know I could. That's all they taught us in Cornish school. Was that? Oh, we came out with okay, okay. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a genetic thing. <laughs> it's a genetic okay. thing. Now, over there, I have a nice little uh, cookie cutter or scone cutter. Now, I've just put it in a bit of plain flour. Nice little tip just to make sure uh, nothing sticks there. You can get a rolling pin, but you really don't want to. Nice, thick. This is a rustica cooking at its finest, I Love think, it. which is my type of cooking. So, a nice little simple twist. Some glad bake gotta, gotta on be... there. We cook in the same way, that's why we get on. A nice bit of rough and ready paper there, crinkle it up and off you go. We cook in the same way, but we use different ingredients. We do indeed. But that's, well, that's you know, that's good friendship. We don't have to be the same. We just no. learn from each other. Exactly. Don't know how much learning happens, though. And you spread them out like that? That's yeah, that's great. it. Now, a bit of extra milk just in that pot there, because I want you to just do a bit of a milk wash. I like that. And I'm just going to add some extra seeds on there so we get some nice, good fats. And I've got a bit of leftover Parmesan secretly. Ah. Now, if you have some leftover um, scone mix, just simply smash it all back together 
and try and get another one out of it so you can invite some more friends over, make some more friends, because do you know what? Cornish people, extremely friendly people. Or I'm thinking you can cut out little tiny ones and give them to people who are not quite your friends, maybe a little bit of friends. If you want to make more, that's okay. certainly the way to go about it. So there we go, we'll leave it at six, shall we? Bit of that there. Now, just over there, we've got some um, seeds, some pumpkin and pepita. So just just do a, a few, few on top. Not, yeah, not too much. We don't want it to weigh too down, but it just really looks quite nice as well. And a bit of extra like parmesan. Now, nothing's going to burn because it doesn't go in the oven for too long. 15 to 20 minutes. Keep your eye on it. 210 degrees. 15 to 20 minutes. Absolutely perfect. In we go. Lovely is their colour. They look great. So nice, isn't it? So I want some chives, sour cream and chives together. It makes a wonderful dip, but also the most amazing topper for this lovely, lovely scone. I mean, the other debate is, is it scone or is it scone? I'm saying scone, but... Um, do you know what I mean? I'm of some authority because I'm Cornish, so that's why. <laughs> Bit of sour cream Come on, on load there. it on there, Rosie. Chives on, on there. the top. Let's cut that one in half, shall we? Oh, I'll put a bit of parsley. Parsley Lovely. as well. Is parsley. it parsley or is it parsley? Par do you know what I mean? I'm, I don't know. There's so many questions here and not enough eating, I think. So here we go. <laughs> so hand me a pumpkin scone yeah. so I don't ask any questions. There nice and warm. Love it how you serve it and nice And I warm. gave you the top bit mm. as well that's got all mm. that lovely seeds and parmesan on. That is really delicious. It's amazing how sweet the pumpkin is. Mm. I love the sour cream and the chives on there. It's really moist. That is a really good scone. It's like savoury and sweet all at the same time. So you've got that maple syrup helping that pumpkin sweetness to come out. That's yum. That works really well. I mm. reckon your, your family in Cornwall would be very, very happy. Thank you.